Okay, it looks like I'm actually filming. I have not done this yet before. Let's hope the camera doesn't fall or mess up. I'm going to show how I make a contrabassoon reed. Now, I need a couple razor blades and pliers and wire and just basically like a bassoon reed. Now, first of all, this is raw. And I have a tool for this normally, but I'm just going to use a razor blade and bevel 90 degree on each segment. This is gouge shaped and profiled came from my Rhodes Reads and Tools uh, elliptical profiler. So I've got it beveled and you can maybe see the bevel in there. I don't know if you can or not. Let's go up here. Somehow I will show you how that is. That's pretty well beveled. It's going to meet and make a really great seal. Now I don't have my uh, dowel with me, so I'm just going to take and put on my uh, the handle of my uh, contra mandrel, and I'm going to make four scores. One. Two, and on the side, just little ones. Three and four. Same thing for the other side. Oops. Not a big deal. We'll just come up from the bottom, and then that is now going to be our other one. And there we go. Now, I like to go down the middle. Try to make a nice cut. So I use I have a really thin measuring tool. Flatten it out. Over she goes. Hopefully the ends meet. Not quite, but with a little persuasion. They now meet. So at this point. Oops. Make the meat. Bend the cane to our will. Alright. Okay, so we're in the ballpark. Now we get wire. I have a machine that cuts the wire to the right length, so I don't have to do it. it saves a lot of time. I go over like this. I go around twice because it's a contra bassoon reed and I use the same wire I use in my bassoon reeds. 22 gauge brass. And I have a special tool which I grab here, put, make a little cross, grab it, and that does that for you. So you don't have to saves a lot of twisting and messing your wrists up and time. Okay, it's meeting fairly well. I go with the Das Fugat measurements, Das Fugat number six, and I just hit it right on the money pretty much. One and three eighths. That's a little far, so I go back a little bit. Right on the money. And go back a little teeny bit. I'm eyeballing it right at this point. Oops. It's too much. Pretty close. Now we wet our string. I have a little cup of water over here. Wet the string. Gives you some, makes it stronger and gives a little flexibility so that you, when you pull on it, right now I'm very loose, and right about the halfway I really crank on it. And when you let the string out like this, it stretches and you really get some torque. 
because you want this to stay together and resist the cracking a little bit so you don't crack up through the blade. Okay, we're almost there. Pretty close. Now we go down. And then we get another wire. Right about there. Go around twice. Come together. Use our tool. And I measure, I think it's 5 16 It's whatever is in the Das Fagat book. Das Fagat number six, a great resource for contrabassoon players. Of course, it doesn't help her to have uh, Burl Lane of the Chicago Symphony be your teacher. He showed me a lot of stuff, too. I'm basically using his technique to uh, make the, form the tube of this contra reed. Tilt those up a little bit. Then we go to the last one. Okay, we're going to use that string again. Okay, right about there. See how quick that is? Accurate. Now, the same tool, we just go around and crush. Go around and crush. I make my bassoon reeds basically the same way. Almost identical. Okay, so now We've got it crushed. I want this on either side, so I just go like that. There's no real need, but it's better. Just for symmetry. Symmetry. Okay, now we take our string, which is still damp. I always try to uh, reweave it. I, I push it this way, spinning it on my leg with my pants to make it, uh, the fibers twist together. And at this point, I go around like this. Hey, go around like this, around and around, I'm making a video, and then uh, jump over the wire, go around, and when you pull with this much distance, it really gives a lot of torque, stretch, and it makes the reed close. Because really, it's not the string you put on with the Turk's head that really makes the seal, it's, it's your craft and ability here who makes it seal. So I've got a really great sealing reed it looks like. I just bend this down, push that down like this, pull it off, 